Hi, and welcome to Cool Media. This is Adam, and I am doing something that I have never done before. I'm going to be playing a Steam game. And I'm actually doing this because of a personal request. The game I'm going to be playing is Tykin. It's a game that, well, the developer, Cyborg Syndicate, actually sent this to me to try it out. Well, he asked for a full review, but, you know, but of course, when I do a game, I do a first impression. My big thing is, is the game worth continuing on? Yeah, my stuff is less Angry Joe and more the Continue channel. Those who are not familiar, Continue, the three guys there, play a game for a set length of time, and then the question comes up on whether they want to keep going with it. That's the way I operate with most of my videos. Like with the treasure chest and things like that. Now, this game is only a dollar. Which, anyone who's heard the story of Digital Homicide, that could probably raise some red flags. But, I'm keeping an open mind on here. The guy was very cordial, asking me to take a look at this. That's what I'm going to do. Let's check it out. Yes, I have a desktop that's actually hooked up to my P uh, hooked up to my TV. That way, I could record Steam games. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, quick note to Cyborg Syndicate, one thing that would really help on this would be adding in controller support. Because, as anyone who's watched my channel knows, I'm not much of a PC gamer, I'm much more of a console gamer. Adding in controller support could really help bridge the gap on that. I can play PC games, I have, I do have plenty of games in my Steam library. It's just not the preferred way to play, at least not for me. So, okay, 10 levels, the story write-up says that. It is kind of, it is kind of sucky that it does not have an options menu because I'd really like to be able to see the controls. But, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Fifty two fifty seven AG. Now I know Unity is a very easy engine to work with. And some some developers like Digital Homicide. This is Dr. Smith. Dr. Henry Smith. We have successfully found the key to life itself. But something's gone wrong. We need help. Can anyone hear me? Please send help immediately. Okay, that's another reason why you should have an options menu for sound. This is IGC Prisoner Ship 36792. Message received. Booting your systems and restoring power and life support. Prisoner 652, due to your extensive military background and violent history, you have been selected for Mission Tyken. For the terms of your punishment, service to the Intergalactic Governmental Council is mandatory. 
Your mission, discover the nature of experiments performed. And destroy planet Tyrkin by any means necessary. Okay, I did see a few graphics glitches in there, and the frame rate did sputter a bit when there were effects, but I've seen worse. Okay, that was kind of cheap how that alien immediately charged in on me. Okay. Okay, there are some issues with collision physics because I could see I could see that one alien quite clearly, but the shots just seem to stop at that rock. And again, I am not that comfortable with playing on PC, so please excuse me if I look if I look like I uh, look like I'm kind of stumbling a bit with these controls. But all... But visually, it looks fine. Not the most spectacular thing in the world, but for only a dollar? Here. That definitely looks... It definitely looks okay. All right, so that's space bar for a jump. Okay. Oh, can I get up there? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Okay, so... Okay, so that's a super weapon. Okay, it looked like looked like the shot passed through that enemy. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a glitch here and there.
Aside from, aside from some issues with the collision physics, the shooting is okay. Looks like the game definitely rewards you for uh, you for shooting him from as far back as you could possibly hit him. Okay. The gore is more than a little gratuitous, but hey, what do I know? I play you know, I've played Mortal Kombat since the beginning, so Okay, so this is a shotgun. Now, is there any way to actually save some of these special shots for later? Or is it a case in which I absolutely have to use them when I get them? Unfortunately, I can't know for sure because... Because, once again, the... And the uh, there's no options menu, so I could check the controls. Yeah, the com the collision physics do need to be improved. Because you saw plenty of spots right there in which it seems the shots get stopped by nothing. Okay. The camera can be uncooperative when you're near a wall. Okay, that's it for the first level. This is Dr. Henry Smith, who whoever has responded to my distress signal and found this recording, these are my last journal entries. We are at the end of our illegal genetic experimentation. You must destroy all the generators you find in order to initiate a chain reaction that will cause a planet-wide nuclear explosion and end all life on this planet. I do have to ask the guy whether this stuff is 
personally made or if he'd got any off of the Unity store. Did I just hit a glitch? Yes, I did. Okay, can the enemies be killed by those traps too? Okay. Okay, I just tried several of the buttons to see if to see if there was any way to switch back to my basic weapon because I don't want to waste the rockets here. if there's any splash damage for setting off a rocket too close. Okay, the gore definitely flew there. Now, I still have three shots with the rocket launcher. What happens if I go grabbing that? Now, are those three shots with the rocket launcher still available once I use up the shotgun here? Okay, I'm up here now. Whoa. Okay. Okay, it looks like those girders aren't reaching the ground. And hell, they aren't here either. I think that may be another glitch. Okay, come on.
Okay, one shotgun shell left. All right. And I guess I won't find out about that. But if I'm willing to bet, I'm betting that once you grab once you grab another weapon, you lose you lose whatever ammo was left in the in the special weapon you had. But on the upside, definitely a plus point having a variety of weapons in here. But I do need to find that, I do need to answer that question I had, so... Okay, when when there are, when there are a lot of effects on screen, the frame rate does sputter a little bit. But considering the fact that I'm playing this on an underpowered on an underpowered PC at this point, I have to say it is keeping stable pretty well. Okay, so that's an, so that's another trap. Let's go ahead and find out. Okay. Okay, so... If you switch to another weapon, you lose whatever shots were in the weapon you had. Alright, at least I know that now. Okay, that's kind of cheap. Wasted a shot just by clicking new level. About 15 years ago, the intergalactic government secretly sanctioned and funded experimentation to indefinitely prolong human life. The population is declining rapidly, and something had to be done to prolong human existence or extinction was a real possibility. Recent discoveries suggested with certain genetic adjustments to telomeres and stem cells, a human person could effectively live forever. Initial experiments were favorable. Diseases were eradicated. But then, something went wrong. By the way, load times aren't bad at all. Now that kind of sucks, the fact that whatever special weapon you have, you lose it when you go into the next level. Soundtrack may be a bit on the generic side, but it's not bad.
The AI is rather generic. It's rather simple. But... But considering the fact that I'm not that... I'm not that... First with playing games on Steam, playing with mouse and keyboard, I guess Easy AI is a plus point for me. Now, are those guys actually trying to charge me through the trees? Yeah, looks like it. And I will note that since we're in an area that is a bit a bit more detailed, the frame rate has started to sputter. Not to the point of being unplayable, but this is something that may need to be patched in. Especially considering how smooth everything was in the first two levels. I guess in a game like Doom, that close would have caused some splash damage. Okay, I'm catching a bit of pop in there. Now, hold it. That looks like the path to move onward. Is there anything along this path? Did I just find a secret? I guess the secret involved getting healed. It would have been nice if the secret involved a special weapon or something like that. Okay. Especially since there's that there now.
Good thing I didn't need to grab that health pick up right then. Okay. Is that a full pickup? Let's see. Yes, it is. Yeah, the pop-up is becoming extra apparent at this point, and the frame rate is sputtering a bit more. Now, I acknowledge that my PC is not bleeding edge, but I'm only mentioning the frame rate because of how smooth everything was in the first two levels. Okay, apparently in order to get the pickups, you absolutely have to go straight through them. If you're just a bit off center, you don't get them. There you are. Okay, when you get surrounded by enemies, shots can be a bit of an issue. Yeah, the shots definitely don't respond if they're right up in your face. Now, I think I could actually hit that generator and exit the level from here. What uh, here? Okay. Okay, I think that'll be it for now. Like I said, when I do these kinds of videos, I generally leave them as first impressions. But, first three levels... I have definitely seen a lot worse. And it does run well enough, even though the more detailed levels tend to have frame rate sputters. Controls? Look, I'm sure the controls will be perfectly fine for someone who's used to playing on PC. I do wish there was controller support, though. I think maybe that could be something patched in at a later point, but for a Steam shooter that's only a dollar, I've definitely seen a lot worse. I wouldn't say this is fantastic, but it is decent. It reminded me a lot of playing games like Earth Defense Force. Got a dollar to spare? This one isn't half bad. Well, this was my first time covering something on Steam. Thanks a lot to the developer, Cyborg Syndicate, for sending this along my way. Have any questions, comments? Drop them in my Twitter, 
right there or drop it in the comments below. Next time, I'm going back to the complete and utter insanity that is Amp 3. Thanks a lot for joining me for this. Take care and game on.